We're heading down to uh, Novix. It's actually in Mount Vernon, which it's only, I don't know, what was it, 90 some, 90 minutes or so. Uh, basically like straight shot down south of me. So we're gonna head there. We're gonna see um, some behind the scenes, show you guys some behind the scenes in the factory, uh, the warehouse, you know, some order fulfillment, get some cool shots of some of their uh, stands and stuff. I'm super pumped. Um, and then uh, we're picking up some stands, take to the farm. And uh, yeah, so we'll take you along for the ride. But I'm super excited about Novix in general, you know, US made stands. There's a lot of good stand companies out there. Um, but uh, Novix has always been on my radar, at least the last couple years, been thinking about swapping out some stands at the farm. And uh, I was like, you know what, man, these guys are in my backyard. And so I got connected with them. And so now here we are, we're gonna go down and meet the guys and take you guys along. So stay tuned. Bro, let's go shoot some behind the scenes of uh, Novix out here in the, the facility, man. So I'm here with Mark. We're at Novix here in Ohio and uh, Mount Vernon. And uh, Mark's the president of the company. Um, so we were actually just chatting a little bit ago and I was like, you know what, man, we need to get this on camera because it's it in, it's exactly like why I'm here. So I'm, I'm 90 minutes north. Uh, you know, there's all these companies out there. There's all these tree stand companies or saddle companies or whatever. Um, we obviously know there's a ton of overseas uh, companies and competitions that are, you know, you go into any, any uh, dealer and it's flooded, you know, you have all these options, but we were talking about what really like hit home to me and when I was talking with Alex and even Dwayne over here, which we'll get to in a little bit, um, it's, it's American made, American jobs, it's funding, you know, US economy, it's everything that we all, you know, it translates to all of us. Um, so, but I don't know, I'll let you kind of talk about it a little bit um, about what, you know, your vision is for Novix, what the mission is for Novix while Certain companies are going one direction, what you guys want to do and what you guys are headed towards. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, guys. And yeah, uh, yeah I, I guess our vision as a company is uh, why I originally purchased the company was to, to basically get more people in a USA-made product. So um, there's tons of overseas options for everyone. And I wanted to bring back more of a USA-made product to help support our local families and our jobs because, you know, the economy stuff and everybody needs to eat and everybody's got kids and right. you know i want to make sure that i'm taking care of the local people and me sending money to, to china doesn't really do us any good um uh, i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that um there's a lot of people that buy a tree stand or that's all they can afford and yeah. i understand that i'm trying to do my best to basically control our cost and make a product that has value and that's what i talk about like yeah. value you know maybe we're a little bit more money but we're still very reasonable uh, made here in the US and I'm trying to take that price actually even and control it to where we can keep people in that product. We're not trying to go way up in price is what I'm saying. Right. If we have price increases it's because our material costs went up, our labor went up and stuff like that. Um, I'm just a blue collar farm boy um, from Ohio. I mean, I grew up on a farm. Uh, we still farm and I own businesses, uh, other businesses in agriculture and stuff like that. So, and I just enjoy hunting. Yeah. And right. to be honest with you, I just wanted to, to do something good. And really the whole passion behind the company was to employ American jobs and, and make a product that, that's 
that's better too. I mean, quality is where we start with and we get to the end of it and say, what's that cost and say, you know, is that a price we can sell that product at or not? Right. Um, you know, we don't say like, man, how cheap can I make that? Yeah. You know, that's not really the conversation right. at all. It's like, how good can we make it? Right. Will anybody pay that? There's a lot of things that we don't make because it does get too high priced. Sure. You know, it's like, I don't know if there's a market for that. Um, we want to be reasonably priced. We're going to be a little bit more. But at the end of the day, I want everybody to be proud to sit in our tree stand. Now, I want them to be have yeah. pride in saying, I could have bought that overseas product, but that doesn't do us any good. I saved up a little bit of money and I bought an American-made product. And I know not everybody can do that, and I don't hold it against anybody. Right. Like, you know, hey, if you only have 200 bucks in your pocket and you can only buy a $179 tree stand, but you're still hunting, more power to you. Right. And, and I'm good with that. But yeah. at the same time... I'm going to do my best to bring it down to 220 and maybe next year you got $220 in your pocket exactly. and you can buy our tree stand. Exactly. Cause the guys I talk to, you know, I told you this before, but there's people that, that really speaks to them with it's American made or they know, Hey, you know, this is creating jobs for people like myself to go to work or to feed my family or my daughter or my yeah. kids, you know, and it, that, that transcends, I think just going out and making your margins, yeah. you know, as small or as in making your profits as large as possible. Um, you said something about the uh, Raider stand and how that kind of came to be and what the point was with that. And I don't want to butcher what, what you yeah. said, but how, you know, you have your Echo stand at this price point. You know, you, you want to create a new line of products and you, you kind of went the other way. You went down in price and you didn't, I, I've seen them. You haven't went yeah. down in quality, yeah. construction, you know, those things are <laughs> bulletproof. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to touch yeah. on that or elaborate on that, but that was... I love that because, you know, myself, I have a daughter. I'm not, I'm not going to spend if I have to get six stands, $600 a stand yeah. and sticks. And it's, it's tough. Yeah, you know? it is tough. And, and that's what we don't, we don't want to do that. Like, so the, the Raider series was literally to bring the price point down. Um, and to make it assembled, like the one key to Novix is, is almost everything that we have is assembled. If you literally got one 17, seven sixteenths inch bolt to put on an Echo and a Hilo, if you just buy the stand, the hunt ready's come already put together. Next year, you won't have to do any assembly. Oh, cool. um, the no tool assembly is the company motto, like no tool assembly. Anything gotcha. that we touch, you do not need a tool or a wrench to, to put together. Um, the ladder stand on the Raider, it came in very high priced, um, you know, comparatively speaking in the marketplace. But name a ladder standing you can put together in ten minutes and in a tree, yeah. with no tools. It, it no. doesn't doesn't exist. No, I've had my fair <laughs> share of ladders. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So go yeah. put together, go buy one of ours, then go buy one of theirs, yeah. and then tell me that it was overpriced. Anybody who does, it's not overpriced. It's expensive. I'm not saying it's not too. It's not expensive, and some people can't afford it. But it's not overpriced for what it is, right? For right. what it is, it's <clears throat> it's competitive. Our our Raider stand, um, you know, our Raider hang on though is is spot on it's yeah. super comfortable has a text lean seat uh we have a lot of requests for that yeah i love those we made sure that we didn't sacrifice quality yeah you know yeah. i it's and i'll say this because i'm an honest guy but it, it's very comparable to our echo you know as far as quality is concerned you don't there's no drop off in quality from an echo to a raider um yeah. it's cast aluminum people are used to the cast aluminum the cast aluminum is a great stand I just wanted to try to drive the price point down a little bit. Right. Um, we're going to continue to push that next year as well and the year after. Um, that's our goal. I, I want to see more Americans being able to afford American-made tree stand, period. Right. And we're going to go into dealers. Uh, we already started this year. Next year we'll have a bigger push. That's awesome. So people can go to their local dealer rather than even buy online from us. Um, and if you're out of state hunting yeah. and you don't have a bunch of wrenches and you don't have a bunch of tools but you yeah. need an extra stand, it's like – I want them to be able to drive there, right. get the box, and drive yeah. to the tree. Yep. Like, you don't have to put it together. Yeah. No, that's perfect. So, that's true. Yeah. And this is literally how I dress, by the way. Like, I'm just a, I'm a blue collar boy. Like, I'm this, lucky this I like, caught I'm just him. A, he, he, yeah, you just yeah. came. I didn't he's, even know you were coming. So, yeah, yeah. He's he's on his way to the farm, so I'm yeah. glad I was able to catch you. I was like, hey, let's yeah. get you on in front of it. Even though, <laughs> even though I know you don't want to, it's it's important for people to to put a face to, to the company and know like the passion that's behind it, the people that are behind it, the faces of the company, the people that keep the company running, you know, it's all done here. It's made here, cut here, warehoused here, shipped here. We'll, we'll talk to Dwayne in a second who literally handpicks everything. Yeah. Uh, to me, I, I love it. I, I, there's nothing better than that to me. And we appreciate it too. Like I want to tell everybody, like we really appreciate your support and business. Like it really means a lot to us, um, all of our families, you know, because uh, uh, without the customers and without their support, we, we really aren't here. 
and um, I can't afford to take care of all the families that we take care of. Right. You know, so uh, without the customer, none of this happens. So I do want to say thank you, and we appreciate you. That that's very important to us. So cool. Well, thanks, Mark, thanks, for taking man. the time. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. I'm glad I thanks got to lot. catch it. Yep. Cody, Hilo, hunt ready. Dwayne handles everything top to bottom in the warehouse here. Uh, warehouse manager, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. And uh, we were just chatting about, you know, being in the space. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him uh, tell everybody like what he does in the space and where he's at. But Novix, you know, it touches on all these different people, and it's people's livelihood, it's people's uh, way of life. It's not just a brand that you see on the internet or a tree stand company. It's it's a lot more than that. And uh, so we were talking about. Where were you from? You know, kind of your background, what you did, what you hunted before and stuff. And uh, I was like, hey, we need to get this on camera because this is, these are great stories. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm from a small town in uh, Elk Garden, West Virginia. And um, grew up hunting there my whole life. Yeah. And uh, I got out of high school and, you know, worked some odd jobs. Got on at a, a paper mill and I worked there for 11 and a half years. That was kind of my plan. Yeah. You know, I was making yeah. good money. It was close to home. Um, and unfortunately, in 2019, it closed down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was kind of lost of where I needed to go and um, tried some other jobs there around West Virginia. And uh, I'd been filming for Ben Rising and Whitetail Edge yeah. for about four years now. And him and Mark are really good friends. Mm -hmm. Mark had just got Novix. Um, and I met Mark at the deer and turkey expo in columbus yep and he said hey we're gonna need a you know we're gonna need a warehouse manager in mount vernon and i was really you know i i always wanted to be a part of the outdoor space and you know be involved and this was kind of my opportunity yeah and uh you know being where me and my wife have been married for 16 years and lived in our house for 17 years and you know, and we just took a chance, yeah. you know, by faith and hard work, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. And, uh, and here we are. That's crazy. And today's your anniversary, right? Yeah. You're yeah. getting in the woods today. <laughs> yeah. So that just goes to show you all the ladies out there, uh, you know, you can have a good, good, uh, marriage that's yeah. both ways and you're allowed to hunt. It's crazy. Yeah. People, it's a misconception. I think like, oh, I can't hunt. Yeah. And my anniversary is tomorrow. So yeah. we're almost anniversary brother. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it's awesome. And, and, I mean, that, it resonates with me, like hard work, you know, faith is what you, you went in. It's like a, it's a big movement from leaving everything you've ever known, coming out here, you wanted to get in, in the industry, you get in with the industry, you're putting all your faith into, I mean, your whole family, you yeah. know, put their faith into you and yeah. your dreams and no it, It's just, it's full circle. I love it. It's, yeah. it's perfect. It's so. a great story. And you know what? The, and it's guys like that. Those are the guys that are it's top to bottom, your order's coming in, you're the guy. Like, yeah. You're touching every order that goes out. It's real people on a real brand. I, I, I love it. It's awesome, yeah. man, yeah. And, and that's the thing about Novix. I mean, everybody is from different backgrounds, but we all have the same goal, yeah. you know, to, to, for people to have, like me, you know, to have a job yeah. right here, building tree stands, right. and, and then we, we take pride in that. Right, doing what you love, but, you know, making it work, feeding your family, the whole thing. So. Yeah. No, I was, I was pumped to meet you, man. I was super excited to come down here. Like I said, it's like 90 minutes for me. You guys yeah. are in my backyard. And yeah. 
I'm just, I really appreciate all the time Come you back and Mark had. Yeah, yeah, man. So thanks, thanks again, Joey. Yeah, yeah thank man. you. Thanks. So it's pretty much a wrap. Uh, me and Joe just got some food. Uh, nice little morning over at Novix. I was really uh, lucky to meet Mark. He's not always in there, so that was cool. And uh, <clears throat> Dwayne's awesome. Shout out to Dwayne. Um, but yeah, just give a little insight in on uh, Novix and what they're about, what they stand for as a company. It just really spoke to me and. Um, I was glad I was put in contact with those guys. I'm really looking forward to running this stand, running stands in the future from them. And uh, obviously, you know, I'll let you guys know everything about it once I get it up and in the tree, maybe do a review or something um, and go through some of the cool features of it. But all in all, I think some of the big takeaways were, you know, it's an American made company right here in Ohio that supports American jobs and supports American uh, work. Okay, sorry, the guy downshifting on a truck in front of him. Um, but yeah, it's it'll be, I think it'll be a really cool and exciting ride to, to uh, partnership with Novix. So anyway, uh, thanks for rocking with us and until the next one.